Welcome to the Fretless Flute Video Tutorial Lesson 1. In this lesson, I'll be teaching you the basic left hand position so that you can do this. What you need to have in order to do this technique is an open hold flute, much like this one. The secret to the entire technique resides in the left hand, so we're going to spend the entire first lesson talking about the left hand position. For the fretless flute technique, we actually need to make these fingers flat over the keys, like that. So you're going from convex to flat, and the fleshy part of the finger will cover the tone hole instead of the fingertip. The other thing you'll notice that happens is that the third finger is actually hanging over the A key and coming in contact with that inner rod there, okay? See? And the fourth finger over the G key is actually hanging over the G key by maybe a quarter of an inch or so. All right. Your thumb is going to be on the double thumb B flat to start. Okay, so that's the opening position. The first part of this technique requires you to operate the third and fourth fingers as a tandem. You lift them from the dip joints, exposing the holes, but leaving the keys down. And the way you leave the keys down is that those dip joints are actually going to be resting on the sides or the outer edges of those keys, like that. So what that's going to sound like is this. We are now going to release the keys and allow them to go all the way up, okay? Now, let's put those two motions together. Starting in the closed position, you're going to expose the holes first, leaving the keys down, and then allow the keys to come up. Now, let's try to make that one seamless motion without the hesitation in, in between. Now let's reverse the process. So we're going to close the keys first using our DIP joints, okay? And then once we're in that middle position, then we're going to finally close the holes. Now, let's put those two moves together in two motions. Now, let's try to make that one a seamless motion. Let's put both the upper and lower motions together now. If I make it faster, we can make it smoother, more of a pure portamento. And all we need to do is add a hairpin, okay? Start piano, crescendo to mezzo forte, diminuendo back down to piano. We can also do the harmonic of that, overblowing by a fifth. We can also do a couple of other combinations. We have all the combinations between G and B natural, plus their harmonics. You are now at the end of lesson one, and let's take a break and come on back for lesson two. I'll show you how to add the right hand to this whole technique, okay?